Hi there, and welcome to this walkthrough video of the Windows Virtual Desktop Quick Start. In this video, we'll go through a deployment using this solution, which will automate the Windows Virtual Desktop deployment. Here we are on the How To page, where first you see a couple of prerequisites listed that I highly recommend you check out before starting deploying with this solution. And the first step is going to be an ARM deployment in the Azure portal, which is going to set up certain resources that will support our Azure DevOps automation later on, which we will use to deploy Windows Virtual Desktop. Here in the Azure portal, we're going to be asked for some limited user input that I'm filling out right now. Uh, I'm going to deploy for a native AD environment, and right now I'm entering my Azure credentials. And the, the next input is actually going to be very important, uh, the tenant admin domain join UPN. This account is going to be used to domain join the WVD virtual machines. So you got to make sure to enter these credentials correctly. And once we finish that up, we can go ahead and purchase this, which will take us to an uh, ARM deployment. And we're just going to set up some resources like a storage account, automation account, and we're going to create an Azure DevOps organization and project. And the automation in that account will eventually deploy our Windows virtual desktop resources for us. I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up. We can go to the resource group and see some of the resources that have been deployed there, including the DevOps organization. And our next step then is to go ahead and navigate to dev.azure.com, where we will find our newly created organization, project, and already running pipeline. So here we see that newly created project called uh, WVD Quick Start 715. Uh, if we click on that, it'll take us to the project page. And within that project, we'll find our pipeline. And as you can see, the pipeline is already running. and all the tasks are laid out over here. The pipeline overall will take roughly 20 minutes to complete and deploy a full Windows Virtual Desktop environment, including host pools, VMs, a desktop app group, and a workspace. And at the end of this pipeline, a user can log into the web client and access their VM immediately, including a full FS logic as you would expect, you can follow along with the whole deployment in the Azure portal as well. So right now it's deploying the virtual machines. So if we navigate to the portal, we can actually see this deployment as it's going. All right, the deployment now arrives at the last step, deploying the workspace. And now that that's finished, we can see everything is completed successfully after roughly 20 minutes. Now we can navigate to the web client for WVD, where we'll go ahead and log in with a test user account that has been created in the automation. So this is all in the native AD environment and we use a custom script extension to create a new user. And that's exactly the user we're gonna use right now to log in to our newly deployed environment. And now as expected, we see the session desktop right in our test user environment. And we're gonna go ahead and connect to it. And there we go. As expected, we have a full Windows virtual desktop, even with Office installed. Uh, so for example, we have access to Word. But just now, just to check that FS Logic was correctly configured, we're gonna go into the portal um, to the WVD management resource group that was created, 
where we'll find the profile storage account. If we then go into the file shares, uh, into the WVD profiles, we'll actually see that our user logon created a container in the file share, just like you would expect with FSLogix. That's where I'll end this walkthrough video today. I hope you found it useful, and for more information on the WBD Quick Start, please check out wbdquickstart.com.